This is how you can forever put a stop to being needy and start almost effortlessly attracting everything that you want. Full disclaimer though, make sure you stick around till the end of this as doing parts of the solution will not work. First of all, understand why being needy drives everything that you really, really want and desperately need far, far away from you. One of the main reasons why is because you subconsciously communicate that you are unworthy of whatever it is that you want or need. You drive it away from yourself because you are so desperate for it. And that desperate energy is not attractive to people who usually are going to be the ones giving you what it is that you want. Whether it's more money, a relationship, or anything else that you desire, if you want it, you have to understand that subconsciously, people are receiving a feeling that they shouldn't give it to you. It's almost like a red flag or a red light that pops up in their brain and for some reason they might not be able to put their finger on it, but it just seems like they shouldn't really give in to your needs and your wants. We really are neurologically wired to avoid people who need something from us because it says that we're going to lose, there's going to be a lack. This isn't a win-win situation. They are going to benefit, they will gain, and we will not. And that's why we find it so repulsive. And the second reason it really goes hand in hand with this one is that you start behaving as if you know you don't deserve it, yes, but also that you won't get it. You almost assume that you're never going to get what you want and need. And so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And we know how powerful those can be if you've ever read any studies about the placebo pill or any similar experiments. You really have to realize that when you believe something to be true or when you assume something, it is more likely to happen because you will behave in accordance to that outcome. It's almost like you're playing a role in a movie or a TV show and the end has already been written, you already know the ending, and so you start behaving and acting out the plot that will lead to that ending. What you instead want to do is of course take control of the narrative and actually start making a difference. But that won't happen so long as you're still in that need and desperation, that, that desire of wanting to get the thing. And that links to the third reason for why being needy really drives the thing that you want away from you. You're putting the valuable thing up on a pedestal above yourself and lowering your self image and your worth even further. We glorify the things that we want, which makes us even more needy and desperate to go and get them. You see, if you're used to getting something, for example, like if you're used to easily having access to a glass of water and being able to drink when you're thirsty, then you don't make a big deal out of it. You just go grab it and it's normal for you. But if you haven't had water for a very long time and you are very, very thirsty, it becomes you know, scarcity, right? This is what I need. I need the water to survive. And when it comes to your basic needs of survival, rightfully so. But most of the things that we really want or need, you know, we're not really truly desperate. We don't need them to survive. And so understanding that this behavior and this mindset and thinking pattern isn't serving us makes it a lot easier to start applying the solution, which I'm about to share with you. The first step is to visualize the ideal outcome, really vividly see what it is that you want and really see yourself already having it. Relax into that imagery and allow it to take over for a second. Since our minds are pretty bad at distinguishing between reality and mental movies that we play for ourselves, this really actually genuinely helps because it puts you in the state that you would be in if you got the thing. It gives you a little preview of it. The key here though is to really step into the visualization, really act as if you're there and you can tangibly put your hands on it. If you can feel what it is that you'd be feeling when you're there, then it makes it way easier because it's the emotions that we are actually chasing. We want that high that we'll get once we finally meet our needs. So lean into that, allow the emotions and the feelings to land. What would the experience be like? How would it really feel for you? Then you can even think of another time you felt a similar way. This amplifies the emotions even further and really takes it to another level. And now what you'll want to do to really support this and keep it lasting throughout your days and throughout your entire life is to act as if you already had the thing, right? How would you hold yourself and carry yourself? How would you 
really walk around? How would you speak? How would you behave? This all matters greatly because if you act as if you already have the thing that you want and you behave and hold yourself in that frame, then it'll become much easier to get it. Of course, we don't want to get completely delusional and trick ourselves, but we do want a little element of act as if. And before we go into the next step, I just want to mention to you that if you want to be a part of an amazing community, really taking your life to the next level, building a business around your passion, going to multiple six figures and even seven figures, like I've helped hundreds of clients do, then please go to eraphael.com and sign up for a free call. There we'll talk, see how and if I can help support your journey. And if you're a good fit for our program, then we can talk about working together. Again, to claim the free call, just go to eraphael.com and take advantage of it while it's still there. Now, the next step, really one of the hardest things to do, and it's to release all expectations completely and utterly. If you can simply let go of depending on the outcome for your source of happiness, then you can actually go to work and do the process that will get it for you. The more time you spend expecting and thinking and really overthinking and being trapped in your mind in a negative way, the more time you're wasting and actually not moving forward towards what you want. You are pushing your own desires away from yourself. And so often we fall into this trap and it's so easy to stay on that course because really, you know, there's no resistance towards it. There's no challenge. We don't really have to get outside our comfort zone. So why not stay there instead of exposing ourselves to the difficult and uncomfortable nature of actually doing the process that gets us what we want. And now the final step to ultimately do that is by flipping the script. Like I've been alluding to so far, when your mind is busy needing something, it doesn't have time to actually help you get it. When you flip this around and focus on what the other people want and need, then you really gain a position of power. A huge mistake that I made early on in my business when I was first starting out about seven years ago was trying to sell something because I wanted money. And what took me from being a broke janitor to building a six-figure business at 19 years old was really finding problems that people had, people who were in need themselves and problems that they desperately wanted to fix and then helping them fix it. So I went from being the needy person who needed the solution, who had all these problems to actually being part of the solution and serving people who were struggling. Now, of course, don't take me wrong. I got plenty of help. I got plenty of support. And that's what enabled me to be able to step into that role later on. And that's why I value consulting and coaching and things like that so highly, because it really you know, comes into your life and makes a real change. Instead of just theory and thoughts, you start applying it and you're accountable week by week. That's also why I run the kind of program that I run and that's why we have pretty amazing results. But just think about how you can apply this for yourself. How can you help the people that have what you want? What need or problem can you solve for them in exchange for what you want? You got to be flipping the script and you got to be thinking about serving and solving problems because ultimately that's what will solve yours. Hopefully that clicked for you and hopefully you use this and apply it in your life. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop me a like. And if you're not watching this on YouTube, make sure you jump over and search my name on YouTube, find my channel, drop a subscription. I really appreciate you and I'll catch you on the next one.